All right, so I got a 3D printer, the Bamboo A1 Mini. Was it an impulse purchase? Maybe. But do I regret it? Absolutely not. Because this thing is just so much fun. It turns minor inconveniences in my life into puzzles rather than annoying quirks. For example, this is in fact a bathroom, but there are two puzzles in here that need some work. Can you see them? The first puzzle is this towel rack. It's a bit small, so if a friend is staying over, where would they put their wet towel without taking up a chair or putting it on the floor? Think about that for a second while I introduce puzzle number two. The second puzzle is finding a proper space to hang these loofahs. They're a bit low in the shower, so they get a lot of water spray, which means more bacteria growth, which is, uh, I mean, kind of gross, right? All right, have you thought of some solutions? If your answer was to hang the towel on a hanger and use command hooks for the loofahs, you would be right and very fun at parties, but why do that when you could spend $300 on a printer and some plastic string to solve the same problem? Anyway, both the loofah and the towel need some sort of hook design to latch onto, so I found a great place to put the hook right here on the shower glass. This thickness is about six millimeters in length, so I'll use that when designing the part. And here it is. But wait, we can save some plastic and printing time if we combine these two hooks into one double-sided hook. And you can help me do that by hitting subscribe to combine in three, two, one, Good job, everyone. Look at that. Isn't that great? Less things to print. It's just like that phrase about birds and rocks and, uh... Bada bing, bada boom, print. Scoop. Done. Slide it in. She says, perfect fit. And we just completed two puzzles for the price of one. Wasn't that just so... fun? Okay, in all seriousness, the Bamboo A1 Mini is a great value for what you're getting for $230 at the time of this video. You don't need to build it, you don't need to tweak it, it basically comes ready to print outside of the box. When I first started using 3D printers in 2017, seven years ago, these printers were pretty finicky and unreliable, but these days printers are pretty affordable and have top-notch quality. My opinion has officially become more positive on these printers single-handedly because of this printer. But it's not all sunshine and chocolate tops. Things can still go wrong and you'll have to troubleshoot. Maybe. Probably. Eventually. Your filament could be stringy, a print could mess up and you're not sure why. You have to actually learn the software to make these prints and maintenance is a real thing, so if something breaks, be prepared to fix it. But, you know, I've only had this thing for a week or so and it's basically been running pretty flawlessly. So if you're interested in getting into 3D modeling, CAD design, and solving real-life challenges in a highly customizable way, this printer is a great entry point into the hobby, and there's a huge online community that's willing to help you with any challenges you might be facing. I'm working on a few projects related to travel, productivity, and daily organization, so if those sound interesting to you, stay tuned. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on 3D printing in the comments below, and until next time, peace.